Hello everyone and welcome to batch 248 in the freeze dryer. I did uh, four trays of two and a half pounds of ground beef and this ground beef cost me $2.40 a pound. Uh, it was the kind that comes in the big tube. Um, when I buy those I like to make sure uh, where it's from. I don't like to buy anything that's not labeled. Uh, my ground beef was labeled product of USA, which really made me happy that they are still doing some labeling. I don't even think it's required anymore. I do think it, it should be. But I got that at Walmart. It was a big 10 pound tube and it was the cheapest price I could find. And we aren't concerned with uh, the, the fat. You know, some people want super lean ground beef and um, we, we aren't like that. I do believe that the leaner ground beef would probably freeze dry better and I, not that I have a problem with how this freeze dried. So let me show you the paperwork on that. Alrighty, as usual, I mean the date and time I started it doesn't really matter, but this is how I do my paperwork. I, It's batch 241, that's the date, that's the time, and the fourth line there down is the cycle. Uh, so this was, as always, a 9 hour freeze and a 24 hour dry. Now if I put something in the freeze dryer that's already frozen, I'll reduce that time right there uh, down to maybe seven hours. I generally don't reduce it down much further than that and I don't usually do a lot of things that are pre-frozen. So right here just shows you what it was, two and a half pounds per tray. Uh, I'll probably put the cost in here. Let me do this right now. Anyway, it was 10 pounds and it cost $24 for that load of course without electricity and I don't always do that if I know offhand the price or I do like to put that price in there it's not super important but I do want to tell you that uh, to make each tray even I had to take two ounces out of another tube of ground beef that we have, a, a smaller tube that we use um, periodically. We'll cut off a chunk when we want to, to use that. And uh, it, the weights anymore on the products that I buy just seem to be off. And I have two of these kitchen scales, not even the same brand. And when they agree that I'm being cheated in a product, it really upsets me. You know, if I'm buying 10 pounds, I want 10 pounds, not nine pounds and 14 ounces. But that's what I got out of that um, tube of ground beef. beef. So the freeze dryer ran for 75 hours and 55 minutes. Of that, 20 minutes and 10 minutes was added time. So the time that it would take for this 10 pounds of ground beef to freeze dry would be 55 hours and 45 minutes. But as usual from my times, you can subtract approximately another 17 hours from that because of the initial time that I'm adding. I'm, I'm not only adding time when the machine says, hey, this is done, I'm adding time in the beginning, telling the machine to dry something for a lot longer than it's um, originally designed to do the initial dry for. So it could have been a, a shorter, a much shorter time of probably about 38 or 39 hours there. So let me show you how I'm packing this stuff. After I weigh the uh, frozen, excuse me, freeze dried ground beef, and it tells me that you know one tray was 588 grams instead of two and a half pounds and another one was 580 grams i'll divide that by two and a half because there's two and a half pounds that gives me the weight per pound and so in this case it was you know 235 grams or 232 grams equals one pound so then i'll take that amount weigh it and then put it in one 
half gallon, seven mil mylar bag, and then I label that. So yeah, that's a weird looking one. I don't know what I was doing there, but uh, freeze dried raw ground beef, one pound, and then I'll put the, what I assume to be, will be the 30 year expiration date. Now, most things I just label when it's in mylar, what it is, and I don't put freeze dried. However, I felt in this case, because it's raw, I wanted it well known that this item is not cooked because that's, you know, extremely important. You don't want to add water and think you're making a meal when then you just have to cook it. So I, I did put, you know, FD for freeze dried raw and <laughs> yeah, it's raw meat guys, ground beef one pound and then of course the expiration date. Now I already have a lot of other things going here that I'm going to probably end up with 40 mylar bags today so I did grab uh, you know two packs of my oxygen absorbers. Uh, they come in the 20 packs and these still are not available in this size from the supplier and uh, that is very concerning to me. The last time I checked, I think they said it was going to take about two months for them to come in at the manufacturer's level. So normally I've been where I would take this rice and pack it in one pound packages. I've, I put 25 pounds of rice in two pound packages, except for the pound that was supposed to be left over, which ended up being 11 ounces. Another big surprise there. Everything these days is under. Uh, and I, I could have put these in larger um, bags, maybe two and a half pounds, but it would have only saved a few oxygen absorbers and I still need these to fit comfortably in a bucket. Now they would fit in the bucket if I put two and a half pounds in there, but the maneuverability in the bucket and being able to fill up the bucket, I'd rather use a couple extra oxygen absorbers rather than to have to use another bucket uh, because I couldn't fill one bucket up because the bags were too large. So that's it. And then these are what I did the other day. Um, I had them covered. I, <laughs> they're in my big roaster here. Uh, this is lima beans. And I did those in two pound uh, packages as well when normally I would do that in a one pound package. And even though when I make lima bean soup in this 20 quart roaster, I use six pounds of raw lima beans. I don't feel in the far future when I will be needing these beans that I'll be making a huge roaster full. I anticipate that we'll be cooking for less people. Um, if that's not the case, oh well. But again, a six pound package of llama beans would take up a lot of space in the bucket and I wouldn't be able to squeeze things in around it. Although they do have those stacker bags that supposedly fit in the bottom of a bucket. Um, I have those bags. I've just never tried that. And then I did some more tea. These bags with tea are a lot smaller because they weren't individually wrapped tea bags. I normally get individually wrapped ones, but I didn't this time. So I've got my work cut out for me today. So after I'm done with uh, these 40 uh, Mylar bags, which I hope it'll be 40, um, I will go ahead and pack these up in the truck, which was already full of the hauls, you know, the, um, the, the storage, food storage items that I bought this week at Walmart and Sam's Club, and then the things that I had shipped online. Um, those are all in my truck ready to go into the food storage area. So that's it. That's what I'm working on today. And uh, let me know in the comments, guys. What are you prepping today? Be blessed, everyone.